What's up everybody, Cats007, and today I'm going to teach all of you how to play Thief. This video was highly requested by a bunch of my viewers, and as the number one thief of my server, I would love to show all of you how I utilize Thief to its fullest potential. And this video is separated into four different parts. Number one, how to use and managing distance with your flashlight. Number two, how to counter most and certain hunters in rank. Number three, my favorite personal routes as Thief. And number four, how to play support. I really hope you guys enjoy. Going into how to manage your flashlight. When you're playing Thief, you need to learn these terms and I'm going to be referring to them throughout this entire video. Long distance, medium distance, short distance. Long distance is the max range of the flashlight. Medium is not so close, but a little far is right in between. And then short distance is like the hunters right in your face, like so. I'm gonna show again from the survivor's perspective. Ready, long. Max distance, medium, short. Now, going into how to counter most hunters. This is me going against a ripper. Now, when you're going against rippers, right, you wanna maintain long distance. Medium is okay, but never short. You wanna maintain long distance as much as possible. I'll tell you why. When you maintain long distance, you get to avoid foggy blades. When it comes to rippers and how to counter rippers, as soon as you see him swing when you're maintaining long distance, you move to the left or right and he cannot hit you. Now, if you notice, I'm constantly maintaining long distance against this Ripper and he still can't catch up to me because that's the max range of the flashlight. And he cannot use his foggy blades against me because as soon as he swings and I'm at long distance, all I have to do is move to the side and he won't touch me. Now, he's still chasing after me. This is one of my favorite routes, by the way. Shaq, that'll be mentioned later in the video. See how I'm maintaining long distance? When I maintain long distance, it gives me time to avoid the foggy blade. Moving next into Geisha. Geisha's pretty basic. We've seen Geisha all the way in the previous seasons, how to counter with Thief. So not really much to go over. It's just constantly looking back, you know, keeping your flashlight pinned on her, avoiding the dash. Not too hard, pretty simple. Moving into Spider. Now, when you're going against spiders, what spiders will try to do, they will always try to look back with their webs. Most important thing with Thief is stay in the open against a spider. You must stay in the open against a spider. See, when you're staying in the open against a spider, she cannot chain her webs on anything. That's why I'm constantly maintaining my flashlight on her. Now, she's trying to get close to use her webs. I counter that by staying in the open. She's only using her webs to look back because that's what most top tiers would do. Make sure you're near a window or pallets in case she tries to look back, but she cannot use her webs in the open. That is very, very important. Now look, she's trying to catch up to me. I use my flashlight, she can't hit me. I'm constantly maintaining distance. Best thing is to always keep long distance against the spider so she can't catch up to you. Now she can't hit me in the open. So this is how to counter Soul Weaver. Throughout the video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to counter most hunters. She's looking back, awesome job. Now myself, I should have stayed near something so I could have like protected myself near a pallet or a window. Now watch what I do here. She's catching up to me. Remember, I went into a hospital. She's coming around. She thinks I'm gonna go vault the window after she looks back. Juke the hit, and I'm constantly stunning her. Moving on, what's the next center? I think it's Bonbon. Bon. This is against the top Bonbon. Bon. And now this is another good route that I like to use, but when it comes to countering Bonbon, bon, you have to maintain long distance and medium distance. I'll show you exactly what I mean. So now the Bonbon bon likes to cut your routes off. If you ask any top Bonbon, bon, what they wanna do is cut your route. Now, what you see what I'm here doing is, I'm constantly moving back and forth. I'll show you because it gets clearer on bridge. But I'm constantly keeping my flashlight on him so he can't use his bombs. Stop his bomb, he tries to swing, he gets hit. Now, I'm running away, but look, I come closer to him. I'm constantly maintaining my flashlight on him. I turn back around, maintaining medium to long distance. He was forced to use his blink on me. But when I maintain medium to long distance, I'm constantly keeping my flashlight on him so he cannot use his bombs and cut me off. Moving on to Anne. You want to maintain the same thing like Bonbon, bon, medium to long distance, constantly pressuring with your flashlight. When it comes to Thief, you have to be aggressive when you're going against Ands and Bonbons to counter their abilities. Now, she's trying to use your cats. I'm constantly pressuring her with the flashlight. She can't look around. Her ability is disabled. And I'm, when you're caught, okay, the reason why you want to maintain long distance and medium distance and constantly keeping your flashlight is to nullify their abilities. If they can't use their abilities, for example, Ann and Bonbon, bon, they're useless. They're like running around hell embers without any abilities. Um, I'm constantly doing this to the point where she ends up leaving me. I got a stun here. 
and she leaves me. Going into clown. When it comes to clown, you need to maintain long distance, period. There is no medium distance, anything else. Now, I want you to pay attention to what I do here. Constantly maintaining long distance because a clown will dash you. Now, this clown, this is a top clown. I think number one hunter on our server, actually. But I'm maintaining long distance so this clown cannot catch up to me. You don't want to stay too close or too short because the hunter will catch up to you. Now, see how I'm transitioning? I bolt to the window and I'm just constantly keeping my distance, trying to maintain long distance. Long distance, I repeat again, is the maximum range of the flashlight. Or as far as possible so the hunter doesn't touch you. Moving on to Dream Witch. Same scenario with Dream Witch. A Dream Witch has to get close to you in order to use, it's like, actually hit you. <laughs> she doesn't have an ability to hit you from afar. She has to use her servants. So you want to maintain long distance, constantly keeping them away from you. Now, as you can see here, I'm just like running around in circles, just using my flashlight against her. Going into my favorite routes, ladies and gentlemen. My favorite route, this applies to most legendary matches, um, like maps. Shack. Shack, running around Shack, looping Shack with Thief is my favorite thing to do. Because it's really hard to counter. Now, I get a speed boost, making my way around Shack, and it is very hard. For example, we've seen in other videos where I counter um, Rippers and stuff like that. What happens is they can't catch up to me or my flashlight is applying pressure and I'm in the open. Now, usually, um, that's one of my favorite routes. Moving into uh, Carousel on Moonlit, another great route. Just keep in mind that you can shine your flashlight through the Carousel. Carousel is another great route that I love. Now, um, Ripper, um, not Ripper, Wu Chang, my apologies, trying to catch up to me. And I'm just keep running and this is wasting so much time. Because not only can he not catch up to me, he is trying his best to use the ability to move backwards, but I'm constantly running the loop. While I'm running the loop, I keep my flashlight out, maintaining distance. Now, I want you to keep in mind what I'm doing. I'm maintaining long distance, and every time he looks back or he's out of range of my flashlight, I take it off. Why do I take it off? It's to maintain and preserve my flashlight because it does run out. I don't want my flashlight to the point where I use all of it and it's gone. Moving into Lakeside, another good route that I like to use. Most of these routes I'm showing you guys are usually long straightaways, which means I'm in the open and there's nothing to hit my back against because it's hard to look back at the same time while you're playing Thief. So watch, I'm using a long straightaway where I can't bounce my back into anything while I'm only focused on the hunter. Some of you ask, how am I so good with my flashlight? It's because I'm in the open. Moving on, another straightaway, which is Leo's, which is the side of it. Um, there's two spots in Leo's I like. It's back here. For example, like I use my flashlight, they look back, I throw the pallet down, make my way into um, two story. The top of two story is really good as well. Now if you pay attention here, the ripper's coming after me and he's invisible. You know how fast invisible rippers are, right? So here comes the ripper. He's um, trying to catch up to me. Now I'm constantly in a straightaway where he has to come towards me and he can't move left and right and look hide behind things, you know? That's one of my favorite things to do. Now going into support thief, that means when you're going to rescue, you want to put pressure on the hunter and let your teammate get away. Support Thief is really good on comms. Now, if you pay attention now, the hunter's trying to get to the officer. Now, he's trying to avoid my flashlight completely. This is the top ripper. And he's trying to catch up to the officer. Now, my job is to use my flashlight to make sure he doesn't catch up to him to blind him and nullify his abilities. He's trying to catch up to the officer. I stun him. Officer's going to make his way to statue. And once he's at statue, he's gone. Ripper's trying to catch up to me. He's like, you know what? I'm not going to deal with the officer. Here's a pocket watch. And he's going to come after me. Dodge the foggy blade. Um, I think I rescue again in this match. Now, Enchantress. I think Enchantress. Yep. Enchantress on the chair. I'm going to rescue. Biggest thing is try not to get caught. This is simple rescuing. Try to take a hit. Don't get foggy bladed. He hits me. And now, watch this. I rescue the Enchantress, right? He sees me. I put the flashlight on the Ripper. And he's like, you know what? I'm not going to deal with this. He gets stunned, right? Instead of going after me, because I know he knows the Enchantress is running with me. He's going around trying to cut the Enchantress off. But I'm constantly running Enchantress's route. When you're playing Thief, you want to run their route so you can support them. Now, look at Enchantress. She's all the way down by Shaq. It's not worth chasing her after that stun. And he puts his attention on me. After he puts his attention on me, he's going to try and down me. And the Cypher's already primed, ready to get out of here. Hits me. And moving on to the next one. Um, support Thief. Great on communications. I was on comms with Tete, and she's coming to try and get me. 
Um, Spider, my apologies. Ted, Ted, I said, Ted, Ted, come to Carousel. I got you. She's running Carousel. I send the Weaver, and she's off again. This is a match with duty. We're on comms. He's like, yo, bro, help me out. Help me out. I'm like, I bet. I got you. So now I'm running bridge right behind duty. Duty's running behind me. And now we're running Carousel. I get that stun. And now the photographer has to catch up to us. And this is the power of Thief on comms. It is amazing. Because it just tells you where the hunter, where the hunter's going, what's going on. And I'm constantly stunning while my teammate is running. For in this case, duty's building up owls. And I'm constantly stunning, trying to keep the, um, the photographer away, keeping as much distance as possible. Something that should be mentioned before we come to the end of the video is how to counter Wu Chang. Now, white form Wu Chang's long hit is super duper long, but you know it's longer? These flashlight. <laughs> so when you're going into Wu Chang, you wanna make sure you um, have as much distance as possible. Now, if you're at medium range, is that a long range, you can get hit. So when you're kiting especially, you wanna make sure you maintain long range so the hunter cannot hit you. Kiting a Wu Chang with presence, however, is really hard. So Thief shines early game. Now, if you notice, I'm kiting. The Wu Chang is trying to catch up to me. I'm constantly maintaining long distance against his Wu Chang. He's coming. I keep long distance. He can't hit me. Get my flashlight pinned on him. Now pay attention. Try to catch up again. I move up. He still can't hit me because I'm maintaining long distance. I put a lot of effort into this Thief video, and I hope you guys learned something from it. I'm Catch007, and I catch y'all later. Peace.